Okay, my name is C.D. Collins and I'm from Kentucky and I moved recently into the artist lofts over on Irving Street that was a project of the Malden Redevelopment Authority. They took the old convent and converted it into artist lofts and so that's where I live and I love it there. I was wondering where the peace symbol originated and a lot of us don't know that it was just uh, na the navy flag symbols for N and for D. Somebody put a circle around it and it stands for nuclear disarmament, peace, and those two signs are in there. And this man, Gerald Holtham, gave this design in 1958 to the Center for Nuclear Disarmament and they accepted it, so that's the peace symbol we know today. And peace begins with each of us, right here in our hearts. Okay, so I, I want to do a switch box and so I, I came up with the concept, a friend of mine, John Minkle, and I came up with the concept and I worked it out and I got approved and I had no idea how to get on the switch box. I'm a writer. I know nothing about graphic design. And so luckily for me, downstairs, my neighbor married a man from Germany who's a graphic designer. And so we designed this together. We did it on a trace paper and it's all hand, hand painted. And it, it took a long time. There's lots of coats on here. It was very lovingly done and then waxed. I just did it the way the Malden redevelopment, I mean the Malden arts people told me to do it. It's got rust-oleum, acrylic paint, shiny and matte and covered with wax, sealed with wax. His name is Marcus Halle. He's German and he is an amazing graphic designer and so he would come up with ideas and we would work on them together and he came with me every day and we, we worked on it together, we did it together. But it was, he's the one that figured out how to get it on here because I would have never done it. The peace symbol, this, you know, these are the signs. This is the, uh, the N and then the D and the circle around it. What I like about it is that the, the semaphore language is also a language where, that, that transcends spoke, spoken language. It's flag language that the, that the Navy uses and it's, and it's known around the world so you don't have to speak the language. And the same thing with the peace symbol. It's, it's internationally recognized. And so I think, it's, I think it's a wonderful thing and everyone recognizes it. And I wanted to do it in a bright color, a happy color. And nuclear disarmament means nuclear disarmament. No killing each other and no um, doing a dangerous, dangerous things with nuclear material. So I love the message to it too. And my, my work lately has become more political in terms of environment because in Kentucky and West Virginia and Pennsylvania, in order to get coal for electricity for the grid for the country, they're removing our mountaintops. And so one of my projects is to spread education about that and ultimately to stop mountaintop removal, leave the coal in the mountains. Let's have some sunshine and some wind and some hydro. That's what we need. The first thing really is to know where your electricity is coming from, to know the footprint of what you do. The first thing is awareness and to educate yourself about how what we're sacrificing. Coal, they say, is cheap. Coal is the, is the most expensive fuel on earth if, you talk, if you're talking about the land and the future.